Have you made a lot of money out of your music? Money? I mean, what is, how, much is, how much is a lot of money to you? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? Do you have a lot of possessions? A lot of money in the bank? Possession make you rich? I don't, I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. About two months ago in this very room with my CEO seated here and me seated right here, I told him that I was going to leave Faith. This is a video about where I started, what I've been through and how I got here. This story begins in October 2011 where I first found out about Groupon and I applied for my first sales position. Not too long after I got rejected, applied again, got approved. But with a slight twist. Hey there, I'm holidaying in Athens but I thought I'll do this short video uh, to tell you a little bit about this boy I met a couple of years ago. He applied for a sales role in uh, Groupon but I didn't think he had what it takes to, to be a sales consultant at Groupon, right? So I, I rejected Han Zian. But then like uh, just a day after we sent him the rejection email telling him that he didn't get the position at Groupon, he wrote me this very, very long email about, you know, why he would want to be part of the team. And even if I didn't pay him a salary, he still wanted to be part of the team. Well, this guy may not have what it takes to be a salesperson at this point of time, but this is... Long story short, I applied for a sales position, got rejected because I wasn't good enough. Anisha rehired me because I said I was willing to work for free and she thought that if someone is willing to work for free and really appreciates this company, he should hire the next batch of people, which I totally agree with. Without being rejected, I would not have been a so, so appreciative of my time at Groupon. I would not have the same gratitude and ambition that I have today. Because of that rejection, I worked so much harder. And working with Anisha, she has taught me so much about people management, interviewing people, basically how to manage great talent within a company and the importance of people. I learned so much. So really, no regrets. My time with HR was one of the best times. Exactly after a year with the HR team, in October 2012, I was given the opportunity to reapply for the sales team. And so I did. Guess what, guys? I passed. And that sort of skyrocketed my career forward, uh, including my financials. I was able to get my first house, my first car. I was even able to go to the World Cup. Streets are empty, that's where we run. Every day, So many things accomplished, and above and beyond all that, that's when I also got closer to this girl right here. Hello. Um, guys, so many things went so amazing. I was so happy for the next three years from October 2012 to 2015. I met new friends who are still my friends to today. There was a family found. I went on many more trips. I did so many amazing things and I learned so much. But unfortunately, as of 2015, everything started to slow down and slowly went downhill. 2015 was the year where my founder left, the CEO left, COO, GM, everyone left, all the big boys, even Anisha, the, girl, the lady who hired me, they left us all. Good news is, there are vacant positions to be filled and I filled one of those positions. I became the head of sales for the local team and that was where my career took another step forward. The downside to that was, I didn't know what was happening behind the scenes. Things were starting to slow down, it wasn't always, it wasn't... It wasn't as blissful as it once was. Things uh, took a turn. From 2015 to 2016, I did my job as best as I could. But an opportunity came in 2016. My ex-bosses formed the company called KFIT, which is now known as Faith today. They poached me over and I said, yes, why not? Let's, let's do this, right? And that's where chapter three starts. 2016 was when I started my career at Faith. I was hired as a head of sales for Malaysia. And to be honest, the times were tough the next two years. It passed like a blink of an eye. It was a roller coaster, right? It was challenging every single day. But that's not why I quit. I can take on challenges. Here's why I quit. Number one, there was a lack of purpose to what we were doing. Number two, there was a lack of progress. Let me explain. Now, Groupon was about riding that perfect wave. All we had to do was work hard, keep ourselves on the surfboards 
and things were, were, were going our way. At Faith, it was a lot different. We were paddling against the wave. Every stroke we took, we were knocked back 10, 20, 30 strokes. Eventually, we were all fatigued. We found ourselves just treading on water, trying to stay afloat, trying to survive. It was exhausting. And then I asked myself why I was doing this. And the why wasn't strong enough. Also, I wasn't very happy. My founder once said, if you wake up lacking the motivation and excitement to go to work, that's when it's time to move on. And that's exactly what I did. I wasn't ready to settle to be comfortable. I wanted more. I wanted to keep pushing myself. I wanted to do something a lot more purposeful and also make me a lot more happy. But for now, keep supporting the guys at Faith. I've left it in good hands. The team is still fighting strong and hard. They've got their own purpose. They've got their own reasons to keep chasing this and I fully support what they do. It's just that I'm up for a new adventure. I'm chasing my own happiness. I'm chasing my own ambition. I'm being a bit selfish here, but that's what I want at this point in life. And I'm very thankful to today what Groupon has given me and what Faith has taught me. And I hope I was able to impart some knowledge onto you guys through my experiences as well. Anything to say? <laughs> we got some major wedding, wedding plans to get to ASAP. Uh, and once she leaves, I'll be doing some freelance stuff. I'll also be traveling around Malaysia, so stay tuned. There are a lot of things to be done, and you know, small good vibes and good energy. See you guys. Ooh, ooh.